hi guys welcome to the channel how is your day going all right so guys we have a chromebox here we want to install a windows on it asus chromebox and cn60 okay here i'm using a, a vga uh, converter all right monitor is a it doesn't have a hdmi port so i'm using that also i'm going to use uh, my wireless keyboard and uh, mouse is has and hub as a wireless okay with this with the mouse okay and also um i'll use a normal keyboard uh, because some parts you can't use this wireless keyboard it won't work i'm going to do that so that you see for yourself okay um what do we need again okay i think we are good to start let's connect our vga cable okay um then we plug in the charger which is our power supply here is this that's the port for it we plug it okay all right uh, chromebox is just like a let's say a system unit okay or a think line system unit all right it's it's very very efficient and uh, it's a very nice Chromebox. It has a uh, 4GB RAM and uh, it's upgradable up to a uh, 32GB RAM. Yes, it's also upgraded up to 32GB RAM. Also, you can also upgrade the uh, SSD. That's one thing that is very nice about this. It's upgradable. Okay. All right. Um, I'll try and connect everything. Um, please. I'm going to apologize. The monitor I'm going to be using is quite not okay all right so it's not be too visible for you guys to see so but all the process i'm going to show you here for you to to install the windows on it is legit and it works very well okay i have this chromebox up to 40 pieces of it which i have installed um a windows on it okay so what i'm doing now i'm losing out the the nuts and um, what you need to do you have to you know every chrome um, system has a protection right so this one has a protection right i'm going to show you where the protection right is the screw you have to take off before you can uh, install your windows without it you can't go is that screw that i'm showing you and uh, it's a screw that is close to the um um to the Wi-Fi card is very close to that mega your network card. You must note that if you don't remove it, it all the process you want to do it it not work. And that is the reset button. That reset button, I'm going to hold it. When you press it and on, you hold it. It is going to reset and uh, you press your Control D. All right, but it's not working with this. Uh, so I will need to plug in a wired keyboard. I need to work let's start all over again that's why i was saying that uh, you must um, uh, have another keyboard if you use a wireless keyboard it won't work ctrl d you see it works now the next step is to um press your recovery button again the recovery button you just see that reset button we pressed pressed it again okay we are going to use and press it now it's going to show that your OS very finish is off. So now we are moving into the developer mode. Now from this process, if you are that thing to be done, it's just the same way you are going to uh, work on a Chromebook. Um, on Chromebooks that I've done videos, previous my previous videos on Chromebooks, how to install Windows 10, Control D to continue. Okay, now we are going to the developer mode. All right. So it's just the same way. Uh, now what we need to do is to log into a, a network. When we connect to a network, after that, we are going to put in our emails, put in our email after our email our password, then we do all the necessary setup and get to the desktop. After getting to the desktop, we create a root password, which was admin admin. After creating that uh, root password, then we go to Chrome, Mr. Chrome 
box site and then we get the code that we need okay let's proceed all right uh we have connected to the internet okay checking for updates as usual you wait for it to load after it's done checking for his updates loads now this process now um what you experience you put your email after putting your email inbox you put your password after that you will notice that it will be loading please wait for a very long time it will not respond what you have to do is to press the power button and off it on it back it gets to the developer mode then you put in your email and continue okay that's the only way to pass that stage because it will continue loading for a very long time it will not pass okay it doesn't happen to all the chrome box all right it just depends on your chrome box but i've had that experience in case of you are going to have that kind of experience i'm just saying it okay like this is one is very simple you see be on the desktop now so what we have to do is uh, to put our roots uh, admin password all right we are there we type our admin our root sorry after typing root we type our code chrome os set dev past all right after typing that we put our password admin admin okay we're taking our time to type it chrome os set dev pass enter then admin then verify you would still type admin enter then you go out by pressing ctrl alter back forward okay the next step is to go to the website which we are there all right then we have to go to the firmware utility script all right there's a question that was asked that when they type in the admin password they didn't see it typing okay you must be accurate when typing it doesn't show you won't see it shows on the screen all right okay we are seeing you have a press ctrl alter t to get to the terminal then we have put the code and press enter is processing now is when you put the password still it will not show admin that's what we put there after putting the password all right you get here you press 2 to continue or uh, you press y to continue y means yes or uh, you press another y okay to continue then you get your flash ready you get the flash ready yeah what i mean is your usb flash you want to use for backup not the one you are going to use to uh, run the windows OS. okay so after you after that then you back up your your firmware your chrome firmware okay let's do that now flash okay that we're going to use to back up then we're going to insert it to the system okay after inserting it after inserting it we oh it has shown the press enter enter again then that's the flash we take one that's backed up then we download the new firmware all right so after this process we have to just wait for a while it doesn't take long i think one minute or two minutes if it depends on how your internet is it will just slow down complete then after that you press arrow okay to enter so after that you are done okay it will restart and uh, i think we are almost done all right we are done let's press enter now we type arrow then enter okay it will restart so it has gotten down here so we have to now um, install the windows all right that's our flash okay we will shut down the room box and on again you'll press escape you'll get to the boot menu all right sorry it's not too clear all right we select uh, the windows we want we are using windows light now in this case if you can update upgrade your room box to 
a better uh, SSD up to like a 1 to 8 SSD or 64 gig. You can put any Windows you want of your choice, but we are still using Windows Lite. Why? Because we um, is 16 gig storage device that's inside the Chromebox. So when we update it, we can do more than that. If you update yours, you can do. It's using a M2 SATA using an M2 SATA um, storage device. Okay, so I just cut the video to be short. All right, so this is just the process of installing a Windows 10 on Chromebox. All right, the process is easy, and um, you can see you can follow all the steps that has been given on this video. I um, believe you will be able to install a Windows on the Chromebox. All right, it's for us to put our name. You can put any name you wish your name or any name you wish okay if this video is helpful and um, you are okay with what i've done all right please do well to subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me up for more videos like this um please share my videos to those that need it you can share to anyone that needs it okay let's accept all right we're almost done here okay there's nothing much to be done anymore Right, you just worry to process and get to the desktop. All right, um, if you have any challenges on how to install your Chromebox or Chromebook, um, please do want well to get my link on the description of this video and chat me up on WhatsApp. I can answer you and respond quickly to messages. Um, also, please, I um, want to be the first to wish you a happy Merry Christmas to you. All right, in advance. We know it's not yet time, but in advance, I just want to wish you and uh, thank you for always standing by me. For those that have been subscribing to my channel, thank you for standing by me and uh, big shout out to you guys. Love you guys. I like your sponsor and uh, may God bless you. And also, for those that have not followed me, please do well to follow me up and watch my videos. Share to those who need it. Thank you. Once again, thank you guys.